all right welcome guys uh in this tutorial i'll be teaching you how to convert your 32-bit vscs to 64-bit vscs now this is very important because when you have your 32-bit vscs that you are so used to you've worked with them over the years and you really want to stick to these same vscs suddenly you realize you have a door that supports only 64-bit vscs how do you cope with this then instead of you discarding your 32-bit VSCs, all you need to do is to convert them into 64-bit VSCs. Now, in this tutorial, I'll be using a JBridger, which will actually help you out in doing this conversion. Very simple. I'll show you quickly. Now, first thing first, all you need to do is call out your application. In this case, it is the JBridger. There are several other applications that can do this same job, but I'll be using a jbridger for the purpose of this tutorial now don't do not forget that you are actually converting your 32 bit to 64 so your host would have to be a 64 bit host because of course like in this system that i have presently here my own windows 10 is 64 bit system so i'll be using a 64 bit host click right here and then i would advise that you use create bridging files inside a directory i will specify instead of using create bridging files inside each plugins directory this is not recommended i would recommend this very first one here so you click and then you have to look for a 32-bit vsts which is actually what we are looking for to convert to our 64-bit vsts so we have in our local disk uh you're going to have in a typical system like my own where I have a 64-bit system. You're going to have this program files, which represent 64-bit, and you're going to have program files x86, which represents 32-bit for um, plugins. Now, click right here, because we're actually looking for the 32-bit plugins. I have most of my plugins in my stem bag. That's why I directed uh, my plugins to go as a folder, actually. Now, click in my own case these and i have my plugins let's look for one of these plugins to convert for example we use the hypersonic now hypersonic.dll which is the extension of this uh, very plugin now this is a 32-bit plugin all you need to do is click on it you can double click or you just highlight it and then you click right here and then we have to make new folder but in my own case i've made a folder named breached so meaning i have specified a folder here type, um, named bridge my 64 bit is going to be converted into it so you click ok now one file bridge for using in your 64 bit vst host so you say ok now to confirm that you have this you, of course you have to go to your bridge files which in my own case is already here opened in my local disk open your bridge files the file we just converted is 64 bit hypersonic look at it here that is just it so that way we have been able to convert our 32 bit vst to 64 bit vst simply by using our jbridger if you have more questions on this very topic you can please do feel free to ask me these questions and i'll be glad to give you uh, the answers and in my part two because definitely we have this we have various extensions these basically have been able to change our uh, dot dll 32 bits to uh, dot dll 32 bits so that's uh, we have this extension 32 bits to 64 to dot dll 64 bits okay but in my next video i'll be telling you how to convert dot dll 64 bit to your dot ax this is for Protus users. For Protus users.